Hi people, this is Pastor Justin Roberts from End of the Age Bible Prophecy. Uh, and I just want to show you something um, I missed, um, but just with completing my booklet now, I'm coming across little parts where I might not have covered in video or on image prophecy. And this is one of them. I knew about it, obviously, uh, but I haven't showed it to people. Uh, and that is King Arthur, this, um, well, I'll read it for, from here. You have King Arthur's Messianic Return uh, is, is an, as, uh, an aspect of the legend of King Arthur, the, the mythical 6th century British king. In other words, he, there's no real proof that he actually exists. A lot like the Egyptians, there, is no real, there were no Egyptian gods like Horus and Isis. These things are getting played out in our lifetime, which is the end of the age and the soon to be return of Jesus Christ. And this is n no different. Mythological. I guarantee this was a, a thought, a vision that was put into someone's head by Satan. It's been wrote about and it's been preserved by Satan. Um, predominantly, well, in this country, actually, the UK, um, is where this all is started about this King Arthur. Uh, like it says here, it's very honest, myth, myth, uh, mythical, meaning uh, not true, 6th century British king, right? Few historical records of Arthur remain, and there are doubts that he ever existed, exactly. Because now is the time where it's going to get played out, my friends, because, well, let's carry on reading. But... He, but he achieved a mythological stature that gave rise to a growing literature about his life and deeds. This has been propped up by the Freemasons, this story about the return of this king. And what's he going to do? Uh, one reoccurring aspect of the Arthurian, well, <laughs> Arthurian literature was the notion that he would one day return in the role of a messiah to save his people. To save his people. And I've told you, Prince William, when he becomes king, King William, when he sits on the throne of David, which is the throne that the, throne that, uh, the queen sits on at the moment, he will be then stepping in as the seventh king. And in the very end times, he will claim to be the messiah. And claim to be the saviour of the world. Now, links to, obviously, kingship is linked to Britain. And it says here that, you know, it was a British king. But not only that, my friends. You know, actually, if you take a look at his name. Let me see if I can just scoot forward now. If you scoot forward, you'll see his full name which is William Arthur Philip Louis. And now if you take a look at right now, my friends, you can see exactly what I'm getting at. I've just put this verse in here. The return of this king is the false Christ. Obviously, William, the return of this mythological King Arthur. And there you have the segment we just read out. But check out his name. It's hidden in there. Either by the Illuminati, because they like these hidden things. They like to show people in plain sight what is going on. And they basically think people are too stupid to see it. But we're not stupid if we're filled with the Holy Spirit. Either they put this there as, you know, one of them things that they do, a hidden message. Or it could be supernatural through God that it's actually done. Um, personally, I think it's the Illuminati trying to make their, their own, you know, reality, their own kingdom happen with all these hidden signs and thinking they're really clever but we'll look at William's name he says it all Will and by the way Diana only called him Will or Wills she laughed off the I A M which of course like obviously God as well said his name is I am but it says I am Arthur in other words they're saying or this is saying or it's confirming I am Arthur, the king who's going to return as a saviour, a messiah to the people. This counterfeit Christ, the clone, in fact. And, um, in fact, his name can... Let me find it. His name 
if you take the word if you take the word William the fifth, which will be his king name when he's king, William the fifth, you can take his king name as symbols, especially Roman uh, Roman numeral symbols, and you can rearrange William the fifth, and it can become the words. Let me find it. Yes, in symbolism, it can be recalculated. See, you got the William, the double, the double, double U's we call it, but really they are double V's. And you can rearrange all of this without any letters remaining. And it says, I am Roman numerals six, six, six. I am, I am, as well, again, I am like thingy, like God said, I am six, six. Recalculate the number of his name because it is a number of a man and his number is six 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 and if you look at the emergency service number for britain again it's 999 which is the upside down of 666 which actually should be another confirmation where the antichrist is coming from i mean i put so many nails in this guy's coffin it's unbelievable i think this will be because i haven't made a video on the the king arthur thing this could be video number part 26 i think or 27 who knows so much about him well anyway i just thought i'd share this because i'm quite uh, covered the video on the king arthur thing so thanks for watching it's been pastor justin roberts from end of the age bible prophecy god bless you all please share this video and like us on facebook we have a facebook page and we also have a facebook group god bless you all time is short amen